Hi, I'm Claudia. Welcome to Unit 4 on the Occupational Safety and Health Management System. By the end of Learning Unit 4, students will be able to describe the importance of occupational safety and health management system at the workplace and to identify the roles of management in occupational safety and health. Occupational safety and health management system is defined as a set of interrelated or interacting elements to establish and implement occupational safety and health policy and objectives and to achieve those objectives. Part of an organization's overall management system used to manage occupational safety and health risk. The commitment and concerns about safety and health at the top level of the management system will directly affect the safety performance in the organization as a whole. Managers can influence safety performance by setting policies that require high safety performance, providing resources to achieve the aims of all policies, encouraging and supporting local managers, supervisors and senior employees for efforts to achieve high standards of safety performance and demonstrating high commitment towards the development of a safety culture in the workplace. In the development of occupational safety and health management system, Malaysia put a special emphasis on OSH issues due to its speed of economic development. There is a growing concern about safety and health at work. Until 1994, Malaysia still did not have adequate provisions to ensure safety and health of employees at the workplace. They were merely the traditional approach legislation meant for technical aspects and lacked the human aspects of ensuring safety and health at workplaces. Occupational safety and health, including compliance with the OSH requirements pursuant to national laws and regulations and practice, is the responsibility and duty of the employer. The employer shall show strong leadership and commitment to OSH activities in the organization and make appropriate arrangements for the establishment of an OSH management system. It is a basic duty for an employer to follow the Malaysian Occupational Safety and Health Standard, which is adapted from the international labor organization components. The primary components of OSH MS1722 are policy, organizing, planning and implementation, evaluation and action for improvement. For the Occupational Safety and Health Management System, there are five components for the MS1722-2011. The first component is policy, whereby employer in consulting with employees and their representatives shall set out in writing an OSH policy. And the policy is a written document which expresses the organization's commitment to employees' health, safety, and well-being. Therefore, employee participation is very important in writing the policy. For the second component, which is organizing, it looks at the responsibility, accountability, and authority of the employers, and also the competence, training, and awareness of the employees. The third component, which is planning and implementation, it looks at initial review of the workplace, OSH objectives in the organization, hazard identification, risk assessment and risk control, and emergency prevention, preparedness, and response. The fourth component, which is the evaluation, it looks at performance monitoring and measurement, incident investigation, audit, and also the management review. Last but not least is the action for improvement, whereby this is the process for preventive and corrective actions and continual improvement.